um, on Streamlabs OBS in probably less than five minutes. So I'm going to tell you guys what my overlay looks like. This is my overlay. Um, it looks pretty good. We have a little star symbol up here. We have a star symbol right here. And we have images going across in like a circle method in which you could um, like kind of like guess you have like an image. You see how we have like our media is going. So it's called like image slideshow. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to scene, scene select. This is a random to the left side, like random thing. So like music is one of my things. Not It's not one of my things. I just label the music. I don't know why. But this is what you will put on your overlay like when you're like logging in. Like this is what you'll, you'll maybe have a mul multiple, maybe you have multiple different overlays and what they look like. But in this particular overlay, um, at the bottom left, you can um, switch out like what you want. So. Start here, new scene. What you want to go is you want to go to sources. Sources the building blocks of your scenes. Also contains widgets. Don't worry, worry about the words too much. You just want to focus on um, basically how to create it. So you want to go to source, add source, all right? Image is obviously a picture. Um, that's off top. But one of the most important things you want to have on there, um, you want to have video capture, all right? Video capture is very, 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 very important. So video capture. Um, that means you can see yourself, okay? There you go. Now you can see yourself. So when you create, go to video capture source, you're able to create your video. Let me delete that, though. And the reason why I want to do that, because you need to have a specific one first. So when you're creating it, you want to make sure you have game uh, display capture. Display capture is the primary thing you want on first, because then you can overlay stuff on top of it. So but the, this is the first thing. you can Now you can put things over top. This is your screen. If you're playing a game, the game's going to be showing on this screen when you're uh, streaming this. So the next thing you might want to add is, let's just say, an image. Say you want to have your social medias on there. So let's take an image of, let's see, our brand. We're going to take the Stars brand, okay? So we want to take our Stars brand, and we want to make it up here. Um, an app that you can use in order to get, like, some of see how it has mine's like a circle. If you're not really uh, familiar and you, like, you do a bad job at, um, creating like images like Photoshop, go to this app, it's called Round Photo, okay? Go to the app store, Round Photo, go ahead and use it and then have your images come out through a circle. Something basic, looks unique, um, very similar to mine's right here. It's like straightforward, nothing crazy, but it looks clean, you know what I mean? Like there's nothing, it looks really clean, you know? So that's something you should, guys should be utilizing if you have it. Um, it's solid. I like it a lot. It makes it easier to like create like little images. So back to new scenes, how we're creating that. The next thing you want to do is screen capture. Screen capture. We have that our little image, our brand up top. Then you want to put your video. Your video is going to be um, um, what's it called? Video. Where is it at? Was it video capture device? So if you have a what's it called camera set up, then that will that will automatically um activate the video camera thing. Um, and you just click the screen, you bring it down. When you want to expand it out, you want to use Shift, okay? Shift makes you expand this thing out to bigger sizes. If you want to close it down, it's alternative, A-L-T, however you say it, I don't know. That means you can cut things down. Other than that, you can kind of spin it out, bring it out big, bring it out small. Uh, if you want to do a big video, you can do that. Um, basically, you can do it either way, okay? Okay, so another thing you want to do is just a really cool thing that I like doing. Nothing crazy. Uh, if you're just, this is like a basic setup that's real smooth if you guys want to do this. So you guys don't need to like pay for it. Uh, so I'm going to do it for you. Go to um, Image Slideshow. I feel this is the main one. Okay, Image Slideshow. Image Slideshow is a, basically it's like a, okay, let's just say something like this. Image Slideshow 2 example. So now it's like we can take random things and then we can put them on. So let's go add files. Um, let's just go to our like our what we have already have like our pictures that we already have on here. So let's just say let's go. We want this one. Say we want Instagram. Okay. Uh, say we want uh, TikTok. Say we want Twitter, okay? So they move at a certain amount of time. You can change it to the slide to be uh, manual. I'd rather just do automatic. That makes sense. You can do cut, fade, swipe, whichever way you want, and then basically have it go across. Now you, what you want to do is when you create a slide, and it could be any images, just random images, 
you can have it come across, make it small, and you see how it changes like throughout. That's super cool. Um, and you could put like your name or something like that next to it. So like the name will be like as you see this the image slideshow now, right? So what you want to do is you either want to like create images through like apps and then download them from your phone and put them on there. I think that's ten times easier. Or another thing you can do is you can just go to the text part um, and then write something in there. Um, let's just say make up a name. I am cool. Let's just say that's one right there. Um, so you can put I am cool. Where's that at? I mess up. <laughs> I'm looking for it. So I am cool. I don't know where that thing is at. Remove that. My bad. So if you're going to text, sometimes we do make mistakes. I'm sorry. Please enter your name and source. Let's go text GDI. And then we'll write down right here, I am cool. My bad, I made a mistake. I am cool, okay? Um, and you can take that down. Now you have I am cool, okay? Like, it's real simple, explanatory. You can create the way you want and customize it. This is just the basics. If you want something basic, your name, make it neat. I, I like it crips, kind of like really crips like mine. Like, it's kind of like real clean cut. And then my performance comment does like the viewer stuff for me. And then have music playing in the background. I think that's cool too. Uh, I might put a music video, a video on that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the basis of how to create a overlay. Nothing crazy. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you guys want like personal um, ways of how to set up, if you need one, create it. Feel free to just shoot me an uh, email. And then I can create it for you with whatever images you might want. Uh, so shoot me a DM if you want that being done. I'm pretty good at creating like the basics ones. Um, yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and hopefully you guys take something from it. Let me know if you guys need overlays done and I can take care of that for you. Uh, your boy A1 is out.